A. Sokolovsky There is an underlying order in cosmos. Our ancestors discovered it in ancient times and expressed it in the writings and monuments. This article is an invitation to all our visitors to explore and expand this subject. Please share facts that should be mentioned here via comments and or email, if you are aware of them. For example, many people today do not understand that ancient units of measure reflect advanced knowledge of mathematics and astronomy, 1000 by 360 by 365.24 The result of multiplying above numbers is 131,486,400 equatorial circumference of the Earth 40,077 kilometers 131,486,400 feet The official value for equatorial circumference of the Earth 40,075 5 kilometers. It reveals connection of the year 365.24 days and the foot unit of measuring length with circumference of the Earth. That is truly a cosmic coincidence. Philosophy is written in this grand book, One Mean the Universe, which stands continually open to our gaze. But it cannot be understood unless one first learns to comprehend the language and interpret the characters in which it is written. It is written in the language of mathematics, and its characters are triangles, circles, and other geometric figures, without which it is humanly impossible to understand a single word of it. Galileo Galilei, Il Sagittor 1623 In order to reveal the language of the universe, we will explore numbers known by the ancients and compare them with numbers established by modern astronomy, geodesy and metrology The science of measurement, do not confuse it with meteorology dealing with weather. It is important to realize that units of measure we use today are connected with the size and movements of our planet. The same applies to the ancient units of measure. Content units of measure in Earth Ancient units of length and time Astronomy and calendars Cosmic harmony laws written in stone Units of measure in Earth Geometry Ancient Greek Geo-Earth Metron measurement was originally dealing with measuring of the Earth. In our article How Ancient Astronomers Could Have Established Dimensions of the Earth we presented a simple method of establishing circumference and diameter of the Earth that most likely was used by the ancient astronomers. Measurement means the act of measuring at the size of something. To measure means to ascertain the dimensions, capacity, or amount quantity of something. A unit of measurement is a definite magnitude of a physical quantity, defined and adopted by convention and or by law, that is used as a standard for measurement of the same physical quantity. Any other value of the physical quantity can be expressed as a simple multiple of the unit of measurement. People have always found it necessary to measure time, distance, area, volume and weight, and have devised units that measure these quantities. For time, there is an absolute standard in the motions of the heavens, but for the other quantities the units have had to be chosen arbitrarily. Official view is that only recently have we succeeded in creating system of measurement accepted all over the world as the standard system for use in science and trade the international system of units SI. However some researchers suggest that in ancient times people were commonly using units of measure related to dimensions of our planet and similar in value closely related to each other. It is important to notice that units of measure we use today are connected with the size and movements of our planet. The same applies to the ancient units of measure. Units of length meter originally, the meter was designed to be 1 10 millionth 110 million of a quadrant, the distance between the equator and the North Pole. In other words, meter was defined as 110 million of the distance from the Earth's equator to the North Pole measured on the circumference through Paris. Using this unit, the circumference of perfectly round Earth should be exactly 40,000 meters of 40,000 kilometers. Today, official value of the Earth's circumference along the line of longitude is 40,007.86 kilometers. Nautical mile A nautical mile 1.852 kilometers is based on the circumference of Earth. If you divide circumference of the Earth into 360 degrees and then divide each degree into 60 minutes you will get 21,600 minutes of arc. One nautical mile is defined as one minute of arc of the circumference of Earth is this unit of measurement is used by all nations for air and sea travel. Using 40,007.86 kilometers as the official circumference of our planet we get value of the nautical mile in kilometers 1.852 kilometers 40,007.8621 600 The metric system The metric system, originating in the French Revolution and propagated widely in the 19th century, has brought a dreary but convenient uniformity to units of measurement. A number of metric systems of units have evolved since the adoption of the original metric system in France in 1791. 
The current international standard metric system is the International System of Units SI. An important feature of modern systems is standardization. Each unit has a universally recognized size. In the establishment of the metric system, the quadrant of the Earth was measured and set equal to 10 million meters. The guiding ideas of the French scientists are well expressed in the introduction to the document presented to the Academy. The idea to refer all measures to a unit of length taken from nature has appeared to the mathematicians since they learned the existence of such a unit as well as the possibility to establish it. They realized it was the only way to exclude any arbitrariness from the system of measures and to be sure to preserve it unchanged forever, without any event, except a revolution in the world order, could cast some doubts in it. They felt that such a system did not belong to a single nation and no country could flatter itself by seeing it adopted by all the others. Actually, if a unit of measure which has already been in use in a country were adopted, it would be difficult to explain to the others the reasons for this preference that were able to balance that spirit of repugnance, if not philosophical at least very natural, that peoples always feel towards an imitation looking like the admission of a sort of inferiority. As a consequence, there would be as many measures as nations. The International System of Units abbreviated SI from French, established in 1960, is the modern form of the metric system and is generally a system of units of measurement devised around seven base units and the convenience of the number 10. The SI is the world's most widely used system of measurement, which is used both in everyday commerce and in science. The system has been nearly globally adopted with the United States being the only industrialized nation that does not mainly use the metric system in its commercial and standards activities. The United Kingdom has officially partially adopted metrication, with no intention of replacing customary measures entirely. Canada has adopted it for all legal purposes but imperial S units are still in use, particularly in the building's trade, meter a meter m, the metric and SI base unit of distance. Originally, the meter was designed to be 1 10 millionth 110 million of a quadrant, the distance between the equator and the North Pole. In other words, meter was defined as 110 million of the distance from the Earth's equator to the North Pole measured on the circumference through Paris. The Earth is difficult to measure, and a small error was made in correcting for the flattening caused by the Earth's rotation. As a result, the meter is too short by a bit less than 0.02%. That's not bad for a measurement made in the 1790s. For practical reasons, for a long time, the meter was precisely defined as the length of an actual object, a bar kept at the International Bureau of Weights and Measures in Paris. In recent years, however, the SI base units with one exception have been redefined in abstract terms so they can be reproduced to any desired level of accuracy in a well-equipped laboratory. The 17th General Conference on Weights and Measures in 1983 defined the meter as that distance that makes the speed of light in a vacuum equal to exactly 299, 792, 458 meters per second. In other words, the meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1299, 792, 458 of a second. The speed of light in a vacuum, C, is one of the fundamental constants of nature. Since C defines the meter now, experiments made to measure the speed of light are now interpreted as measurements of the meter instead. The meter is equal to approximately 1.093613 yards, 3.280840 feet, or 39.370079 inches. Its name comes from the Latin metrum and the Greek metron, both meaning measure. The unit is spelled meter in the US and meter in Britain. There are many other spellings in various languages, ancient units of length and time megalithic yard. When the late Professor Alexander Tom surveyed over a thousand megalithic structures from northern Scotland through England, Wales and western France, he was amazed to find that they had all been built using the same unit of measurement. Tom dubbed this unit a megalithic yard my 2.72 feet 0.829 meters because it was very close in size to an imperial yard, being exactly 2 feet 8.64 inches 82.966 centimeters. As an engineer he could appreciate the fine accuracy inherent in the my but he was mystified as to how such a primitive people could have consistently reproduced such a unit across a zone spanning several hundreds of miles. The answer that eluded the late professor lay not in the rocks, but in the stars. The Mai turns out to be much more than an abstract unit, such as the modern meter. It is a highly scientific measure repeatedly constructed by empirical means. It is based upon observation of three fundamental factors the orbit of the Earth around the Sun, the spin of the Earth on its axis, and the constant mass of the Earth. 
Source The mystery of the megalithic yard revealed making the megalithic yard in the discussions leading up to the French adoption of the metric system in 1791, the leading candidate for the definition of the new unit of length, the meter, was the seconds pendulum at 45 degrees north latitude. It was advocated by a group led by French politician Talleyrand and mathematician Antoine Nicolas Caratat de Condorcet. This was one of the three final options considered by the French Academy of Sciences Committee. However, on March 19, 1791 the committee instead chose to base the meter on the length of the meridian through Paris. A pendulum definition was rejected because of its variability at different locations, and because it defined length by a unit of time, where T is period of simple pendulum time of one full swing, L is length of pendulum, and G is local acceleration of gravity G 9.81 milliseconds 232.2 FTS 2. From this equation, for L1 meter, the pendulum period is T2.006 seconds. For L1 my 0.83 meters, the pendulum period T1.827 seconds interestingly 6,661.8273.64.5, and for L1 Royal Egyptian cubit, period T1.45 sec full 200 swings of this pendulum would take 365.4 seconds 6.09 minutes or 6 minutes and 5.4 sec. This is exactly the time period during which the Moon and the Sun, since both have the same apparent angular diameter 0.5 deg moves by 1.5 degree on the sky it is equivalent to its three diameters. Here is how to make unit of measure equal 1 megalithic yard 1 minute this is modification by A. Sokolovsky of a method originally proposed by Lomas, Knight Butler. The apparent movement of the sky caused by rotation of our planet on its axis provides an excellent astronomical clock. The Earth is rotating 1 degree per 4 minutes of time 360 deg 24 times 60 minutes 0.25 degman. Since apparent angular moon diameter angular sun diameter 0.5 degree. On the day of equinox daytime nighttime the circle of the moon fits exactly 360 times on its path above the horizon 180 degrees. If we observe the moon, or a bright star perhaps with help of simple astrolabe with plumb line, we can easily measure exactly 6 minutes by waiting for the star in the moon to move 1.5 degree on its path. This is the time taken by the moon to move on the sky by its three diameters. Pendulum with length L equal 1 mi would make exactly 200 full swings in 6 minutes just like a pendulum 1 meter long would swing exactly 180 times in 6 minutes. Alternatively we can observe shadow of an obelisk and measure 6 minutes using template of a half circle divided into 180 degrees. When you see the upper edge of the moon or a first magnitude star approaching the first marker on the astrolabe, swing the weight of a pendulum and count the pulses from one extreme and back full swings for 6 minutes, until the moon star moves 1.5 degree for the moon it would be its three diameters. There are only two factors that affect the swing of a pendulum the length of the string and gravity, which is determined by the mass of the earth if you swing a pendulum faster it will move outwards further but it will not change the number of pulses. You need to adjust the length until you get exactly 200 swings during this period of 6 minutes. It is likely to take you several attempts to get the length right so be prepared to do quite a bit of moon star gazing. To improve accuracy, you can increase the time and accordingly number of pendulum swings. It is likely that in ancient times, astronomers would keep the rod with YMY length once it was established this way and use the described method for calibration. 1. You have the correct length of pendulum. Mark the distance from the exact point of suspension to the center of the weight. It would be best to use a spherical weight for the pendulum. Congratulations, you now have a stick that is exactly 1 megalithic yard long. 1 megalithic yard 2.72 feet 1 foot 1 rc. 0 0.82966 meters 1 meter 3.281 feet 1 foot 12 inch 30.48 centimeters 1 inch 2.254 centimeters 1 royal egyptian cubit 20.62 inch 0 0.531 meters 1 mile 1609.344 meters 1941 my sqrt 44 my 1 nautical mile 1.15078 miles 6076 feet 1.852 kilometers 2233 
my modern and accurate numbers describing the size of our planet Earth's circumference between the North and South Poles 21,602.6 nautical miles 24,859.82 miles 40,008 kilometers Earth equatorial circumference 24,901.55 miles 40,075.16 kilometers Earth's diameter at the equator 6,887.7 nautical miles 7,926.28 miles 12,756.1 kilometers one year 365.25 days one day 24 hours 1,440 minutes 86,400 seconds 24 hours 360 degrees 1 hour 15 degrees 1 minute time 0 0.25 degree 15 minutes of arc 1 degree 4 minutes time 360 degrees 21,600 minutes 1 million 296,000 seconds of arc 1 degree 60 minutes 360 seconds of arc note 11,000th of a degree of arc around the equatorial circumference of the Earth is just 365.22 feet in length 1 degree of arc 1360 40,075.16 kilometers 111.32 kilometers 365,223 feet divided by 1,365.22 which is number of days in a year Egyptian cubit the Egyptian cubit the Indus Valley units of length referred to above and the Mesopotamian cubit were used in the 3rd millennium BC and are the earliest known units used by ancient peoples to measure length. The measures of length used in ancient India included the Dhanaspo, the Krosa Krai, or Kaukal and the Yodana stage. The Egyptian royal cubit rod, from the Turin collection, has an official length of 20.618 inches. Its refined value, under the sexagesimal geodetic system, was calculated mathematically to be 20.618.18182 inches. Note Royal Cubit consists of 28 units, digits, which is the same as seven palms of four digits. The names of divisions of Royal Cubit may suggest anatomical origin, however the divisions indicate astronomical origin of the cubit seven days per week, 28 days lunar calendar, four weeks per lunar month. Interesting relationship between ancient units of lengths from measurements of the King's Chamber and other dimensions in the Great Pyramid by John Greaves, Sir Isaac Newton realized that the King's Chamber was 10 by 20 royal cubits of both cubits so that the royal cubit is determined as equal to 1.719 1.72 feet. Therefore, we can take the following as ideal values in metric system of three fundamental ancient units of length 1 my 1 foot 1 rc 2.72 feet 0 0.829 meters 1 royal cubit 1.72 feet 0 0.632 my 0 0.524 meters 1 ramen royal cubit skirt 214.58 inch 0 0.37 meters Notice the relationship between all three units can be well approximated as follows 1 megalithic yard sqrt 5 by 1 ramen 1 royal cubit x sq QRT 52 1.581388 RC Let's notice the relationship between all three units can be well approximated as follows 1 megalithic yard SQRT 5 by 1 Remen 1 Royal Cubit X SQRT 52 1.581388 RC 1 Royal Cubit SQRT 2 by 1 Remen 0 0.525 meters 1 megalithic yard SQRT 5 by 1 Remen 0 0.83 meters It may be seen that, from the basic square side of the Remen, the length of the Royal Royal cubit can be derived by multiplying the remen by the square root of 2. Similarly, the megalithic yard can be derived by multiplying the remen by the square root of 5. Another geometric illustration of the relationship between remen, royal cubit and megalithic yard, where 1 my is circumference of the circle 0.823 meters inscribed in 12 rc square with 99.3% accuracy if megalithic yard was defined as equal to the circumference of the circle inscribed in 1 half of royal cubit square 1 my 12 x rc x pi so 1 my 1.570795 rc 1 my in RC pi 24 RC 1 we get in 1 MY 1.570795 and 1 Remen 1 SQRT 20.7071 Note for the Great Pyramid height 280 Royal Cubits Space side 440 Royal Cubits 280 My click to enlarge in whichever case, the Greeks and Romans inherited the foot from the Egyptians 12 inches 1 foot 36 inches 3 feet 1 yard 1760 yards 1 mile 440 yards quarter mile interest in ancient metrology was triggered by research into the various megalith building cultures and the Great Pyramid of Giza. In 1637 John Greaves, professor of geometry at Gresham College, made his first of several studies in Egypt and Italy, making numerous measurements of buildings and monuments, including the Great Pyramid. 
These activities fueled many centuries of interest in metrology of the ancient cultures by the likes of Isaac Newton and the French Academy. The first known description and practical use of a physical pendulum is by Galileo Galilei. However, Flinders Petrie, a disciple of Charles Piazzi Smith, is of the opinion that it was used earlier by the ancient Egyptians. Writing in an article in Nature, 1933 Petrie says if we take the natural standard of one day divided by 105, the pendulum would be 29.157 inches 0.7405878 meters at lat 30 degrees. Now this is exactly the basis of Egyptian land measures, most precisely known through the diagonal of that squared, being the Egyptian double cubit. The value for this cubit is 20.617 inches, while the best examples in stone are 20.620 plus or minus 0.005 inches. By the time measurements of Mesopotamia were discovered, by doing various exercises of mathematics on the definitions of the major ancient measurement systems, various people Jean Adolphe de Coeur de in 1909, August Oxay in 1942 came to the conclusion that the relationship between them was well planned. Livio C. Stecchini claims in his A History of Measures the relation among the units of length can be explained by the ratio 15,161,718 among the four fundamental feet and cubits. Before I arrived at this discovery, D. Kerr dimensioned Oxay discovered that the cubes of those units are related according to the conventional specific gravities of oil, water, wheat and barley. Stecchini makes claims that imply that the Egyptian measures of length, originating from at least the 3rd millennium BC, were directly derived from the circumference of the Earth with an amazing accuracy. According to Secrets of the Great Pyramid p. 346, his claim is that the Egyptian measurement was equal to 40,075,000 meters, which compared to the international spheroid of 40,076,596 meters gives an error of 0.004%. No consideration seems to be made to the question of, on purely technical and procedural grounds, how the early Egyptians, in defining their cubit, could have achieved a degree of accuracy that to our current knowledge can only be achieved with very sophisticated equipment and techniques. Alexander Tom Oxford Engineering Professor Alexander Tom, doing statistical analysis of survey data taken from over 250 stone circles in England and Scotland, came to the conclusion that there must have been a common unit of measure which he called a megalithic yard. This research was published in the Journal of the Royal Statistical Society Series A General, 1955, Volume 118 Part 3 p 275295 as a paper entitled A Statistical Examination of the Megalithic Sites in Britain. As Professor Tom observed in his book Megalithic Sites in Britain 1967 it is remarkable that 1,000 years before the earliest mathematicians of classical Greece, people in these islands not only had a practical knowledge of geometry and were capable of setting out elaborate geometrical designs but could also set out ellipses based on the Pythagorean triangles. Robin Heath later, these ideas were further developed as defense for the imperial units against the emerging metric system, and adopted by parts of the antimetric movement. Robin Heath, in his book Sun, Moon Stonehenge, connects the megalithic yard and thus Stonehenge to the imperial foot, and manages to connect a few astronomical phenomena, and the Egyptian royal cubit and thus the Great Pyramid into one grand equation my is an abbreviation for megalithic yard if the lunar year is represented by 12 my then one foot corresponds precisely to the extra 10.875 days to coincide with the end of the solar a seasonal year. Furthermore, the period between the end of the solar year and 13 lunations 18.656 days, is represented by another unit of length from antiquity, the royal cubit of 20.63 inches or 1.72 feet. Note 1 solar year 365.24 days, 1 lunar year 12 lunar months 354.36 days, 1 lunar month the time between full moons 29.530589 days, therefore 1 lunar year 12 29.53354.36 and 365.24 to 354.36 10.88. Therefore 1 solar year 1 lunar year 12 lunar months 10.88 days, if 1 lunar month is represented by 1 my we get 29.53 days represented by 2.72 feet or 10.8566 days are represented by 1 foot. 
1 lunar year 12 lunar month 354.36 days represented by 12 my 12 2.72 feet 32.64 feet also 13 lunar months 1329.53 days 13 lunar months 1 solar year 383.89 to 365.24 18.65 days representing 1.718 feet 1 royal cubit 0.18.65 10.8566 718 feet 1 Royal CUIBT This seems to bring pseudoscientific metrology to new heights, especially in view of the conclusion hence the equally astonishing revelation that 1 my 1 foot 1 RC. Assuming that the my was the primary unit, then the derivative foot and cubit appear to have formed a logical and essential part of the astronomical and calendrical researches of our Neolithic ancestors. If, however, the foot preceded the Mayan time, and here we must remember that 11,000th of a degree of arc around the equatorial circumference of the Earth is just 365.244 feet in length, then knowledge of the roundness of the Earth must have predated use of the Maya i.e. well before 3. There are no other choices readily apparent J. Michel claims that all over the world traditional units of measurements are related. He goes on to point out the value of the poo that still survives in Indochina is given in LDA. Jackson's modern metrology available on the net is 2.7272 miles with a fraction repeating. Without knowledge of the pus existence its former use in Britain was deduced by J.F. Neal, who called it the megalithic mile because the ratio is similar to that between the foot and the megalithic yard. Since the ratio between the dimensions of the Earth and Moon is 102.7272 the following relationships unambiguously exist. Earth's diameter 7,920 miles Moon's diameter 792 megalithic miles Perimeter of the square containing the circle of the Earth 31,680 miles Perimeter of the square containing the circle of the Moon 3,168 megalithic miles Sun's diameter 864,000 miles 316,800 megalithic miles More information http blog.worldmysteries.com say ancient timekeeper spot 5 units of measurement units of time observing movement of the Sun and the stars suggested that Earth is spinning around its own axis and that the Sun is moving against the background of constellations This suggested there are two cycles Earth axis spin cycle and Earth around the Sun orbital cycle in ancient times it was easy to observe the sun in order to establish units of time, so it is good assumption that such units would be solar units of time. We use them today and call them solar days or simply days as opposed to stellar background-based sidereal days. It was also easy to observe the moon and the stars at night. Hipparchus 190,120 BC and his predecessors used various instruments for astronomical calculations and observations, such as the gnomon, the astrolabe, and the armillary sphere. Hipparchus is credited with the invention or improvement of several astronomical instruments, which were used for a long time for naked eye observations. According to Synesius of Ptolemy 4th century, he made the first astrolabian this may have been an armillary sphere which Ptolemy however says he constructed, in Almagest v.1 of the predecessor of the planar instrument called astrolabe also mentioned by Theon of Alexandria. With an astrolabe Hipparchus was the first to be able to measure the geographical latitude and time by observing stars. Previously this was done at daytime by measuring the shadow cast by a gnomon, or with a portable instrument known as a scaphi. Wikipedia illustration below shows ancient Egyptians' interest in astronomy. The northern bottom and southern top panel Deccan chart from the tomb of Senmutsi 1500 BC. In reality this panel is about 4 meters long. The Deccan system was actually used as a clock for time keeping in the night hours and through the year. Modern Egyptologists call them Egyptian sidereal clocks. After these cycles were noticed discovered the next step would be to quantify them describe them using specific units of measurement. Numbers like 360, 72, 30, 12 and multiples thereof were intentionally plotted in ancient myths. It was as if the storyteller were trying to convey a secret code. Here's what the figures signify in the procession cycle 360 degrees 12 by 30 degrees, or one full circuit through the zodiac constellations 72 years the time it takes for the stars to shift 1 degree 30 degrees 1 astrological age a different zodiac constellation rises with the sun every 2160 years 12 the total number of zodiac signs or astrological ages. 
12 times 2160 25920 years or one full procession cycle in Babylonia the ancient scribe Barossus wrote that mythical kings ruled before the great flood for a total 432000 years in India the Rigveda contains exactly 432000 syllables and although the calculation has created some confusion of late, the Vedic Kali Yuga representing the current world age is said to be comprised of 432,000 years. On the other side of the globe, Mayan calendar units parrot the processional figures. For example, one to an astronomical year 360 days, six tons, 2,160 days, one cat in 7,200 days, six cat tons, 43,200. The standard Mayan base of 20 hours is 10 is arrived at by dividing 43,200 by 2,160. Today we use decimal system multiples of 10 however when it comes to measuring angles, we use ancient invention a circle is not divided into 100 or 1,000 parts, instead it divided in 360 units called degrees and each unit is further divided into 60 equal parts called minutes and each one of these is further divided into 60 equal units called seconds. A full circle has 360 degrees, 21,600 360 times 60 minutes and 1,296,360 by 60 by 60 seconds. Ancient divided the whole sky into 12 equal parts called constellations. Zodiac circle division 12 equal parts of 4 times 3 4 quarters each into 3 and further each third into 10 4, 3, 10 each constellation had 30 degrees 36,012 30 degrees 1,800 minutes 108,000 seconds. Dividing the daily cycle into equal parts established units of time. Ancient divisions were not decimal but based on 24 and 60,124 of the Earth spin cycle was unit we call now. 1 hour. Each hour is divided into 60 equal units called minutes and each minute is divided into 60 equal units called seconds. The finest unit of time in ancient times was 1 second 124 by 60 by 60 186,400 part of one spin cycle one day. In other words one rotation cycle of the Earth one day has 24 hours, 1,440 minutes and 86,400 seconds. Each day was divided into 24 parts called hours, each hour into 60 minutes and each minute into 60 seconds. Today we divide seconds using decimal system 110, 1100, 11,000 millisecond. Each day has 24 hours 1,440 minutes 24 times 60 86,400 seconds 24 by 60 by 60. The Earth turns 15 degrees per hour 1 degree each 4 minutes. Astronomy and calendars All calendars began with people recording time by using natural cycles days, lunar cycles months, and solar cycles years. Ancient peoples have attempted to organize these cycles into calendars to keep track of time and to be able to predict future events of importance to them, such as seasons e.g. the annual Nile flood in ancient Egypt, eclipses etc. The main problem was that these natural cycles did not divide evenly. Early people could either try to stay in sync with the moon, perhaps making months alternating combinations of 29 and 30 days, with special rules to resync occasionally with a solar year by adding leap months, such as the Jewish or Chinese calendar, or abandon lunar cycles and concentrate on the solar year, such as the ancient Egyptian calendar of 12 same sized months. Today, the solar year is 365.242199 days long a 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes 46 seconds and the time between full moons is 29.530589 days. Therefore in one year there are 12.37 moon cycles 365.24 29.53 12.37. The Moon makes a complete orbit around the Earth with respect to the fixed stars about once every 27.3 days sidereal period. However, since the Earth is moving in its orbit about the Sun at the same time, it takes slightly longer for the Moon to show the same phase to Earth, which is about 29.5 days its synodic period. Nature's nearly perfect calendar The Moon could be nature's perfect clock if the solar cycle period were exactly divisible by the period of the lunar cycle. For example if the solar year were exactly 364 days instead of 365.24 and lunar cycle exactly 28 days instead of 29.53, we would have a perfect calendar based on 13 months of 28 days per month, with each month having 4 weeks of 7 days. 
Such calendar was proposed as 13 moon calendar discussed later in this article with a 365th day called the day out of time. Another perfect calendar would require solar year to have 360 days and lunar cycle 30 days. The perfect Earth would take 360 days to complete 360 degree circular solar orbit one day per day. The perfect moon would take 30 days to complete 360 degree circular orbit around the Earth 12 day per day. In such case, we could have a year based on 12 months of 30 days. Each month would have five weeks of six days each. We can only wonder if these numbers were true for the Earth in the, the early period of the solar system. 13 moon calendar A culture of peace through a calendar of peace The 13 moon natural time calendar is based upon Dreams Pole, a universal application of the mathematics and cosmology of the classic Mayan calendar and prophecy of 2012 as deciphered and presented by Jose and Lloydine Argules. Around the world, people of diverse beliefs and cultures are unifying with the 13 moon calendar as a global harmonic standard. 13 moons of 28 days, with one day to celebrate peace through culture before each new year, July 26. Introduction to the 13 moon calendar The 13 moon 28 day calendar is a perpetual, harmonic calendar. It is called a moon calendar because it is based on the female 28 day average menstruation cycle, which is also the average lunar cycle. The measure of the moon from new moon to new moon is called the synodic cycle and is 29.5 days in length. However, the sidereal lunar cycle which measures the moon from where it reappears in the same place in the sky is only 27.1 days in length. So 28 days is the average lunar cycle. In actuality the moon goes around the earth 13 times a year. This means that the 13 moon calendar is a genuine solar lunar calendar which measures the Earth's orbit around the Sun by the lunar average of 28 days. 13 perfect months of 28 days 52 perfect weeks of 7 days 364 days. The 365th day is called the day out of time because it is no day of the week a month at all. This day which falls on the Gregorian correlate date of July 25th is a day for forgiveness and for the artistic celebration of life and freedom. The synchronization, or New Year's date of the 13 moon calendar is July 26. This corresponds to the rising of the great star Sirius. This makes the 13 moon calendar a tool for harmonizing ourselves with the galaxy. Perfect periodicity for every one time we go around the sun, the moon goes around Earth 13 times. The year has already been divided by nature 13 moons of perpetual harmony. Related links Cosmic Harmony Earth Facts Revolution Period Around Sun 365.2425 Days Rotation on Axis 23 hours and 56 minutes and 04.09053 seconds. Note it takes an additional 4 minutes for the Earth to revolve to the same position as the day before relative to the Sun i.e. 24 hours. Axial tilt 23.4023 degrees 2621.4119 Earth's circumference at the equator 21,638.855 nautical miles 24,901.55 miles 40,075.16 kilometers Earth's circumference between the north and south poles 21,602.6 nautical miles 24,859.82 miles 40,008 kilometers Earth diameter at the equator 6,887.7 nautical miles 7,926.28 miles 12,756.1 kilometers equatorial radius 12 of the diameter 3,443.9 nautical miles 3,963.14 miles 6,378.05 kilometers Earth's diameter at the poles 7,899.80 miles 12,713.5 5 kilometers polar radius 3950 miles 6356.75 kilometers average distance from the earth to the sun 93 million 20 thousand miles 149 million 669 thousand 180 kilometers average distance from the earth to the moon 238 thousand 857 miles 384 thousand 403 point one kilometers the closest distance between earth and sun is 147 by 106 kilometers which converted to Royal Egyptian cubits is 280 by 109,280 cubits is the height of the Great Pyramid.
Observe the measurements of the Moon equatorial radius 1738.14 km 0.273 Earth so the Moon diameter is 3476.28 km or 2160 miles. Let's make this the cosmic unit 1 Moon unit representing the ideal diameter of the Moon. Diameter of the Sun 865,294 miles. If we divide 865,294 by 2160 astonishingly we get 400.6. The SOHO spacecraft was used to measure the diameter of the Sun by timing transits of Mercury across the surface during 2003 and 2006. The result was a measured radius of 696,342 plus or minus 65 kilometers 432,687 plus or minus 40 miles. Staying within the margin of error, measured radius of the Sun is 432,647 miles a diameter 865,294 miles. 7 by 8 by 9 by 11 by 12 by 13 864,864 which is only 0.25% 430 miles smaller than the measured value. Also, 930 by 930 864,900 only 394 miles less than measured value. Equatorial circumference of the Earth 1000 by 360 by 365.24 feet 131,486,400 feet 40,077 kilometers official value for equatorial circumference of the Earth 40,075 kilometers that is truly a cosmic coincidence there is more, and the Great Pyramid has these values encoded in its proportions the radius of the Moon compared to the Earth is 3211, i.e. 311. Radius of Moon 1080 miles 3 by 361 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by 6 by 32 1080.030 miles 1738.1 kilometers Radius of Earth 3960 miles 11 by 361 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by 6 by 112 3963.167 miles 6378.1 kilometers Radius of Earth plus Radius of Moon 5000 40 miles 14 by 361 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by 6 by 142 7 by 8 by 9 by 10 actual 5043.197 miles 1 by 2 by 3 by 4 by 5 by 6721 2 3 4 5 6 2 1 2 1 extension 2 4 0 5 0 4 0 7 2 0 extension 2 1 3 5 0 4 0 7 2 0 extension 2 1 14 10 80 the ratio 311 is 27.3%, and the orbit of the Moon takes 27.3 days. Sidereal rotation period 27.321582 desynchronous 27.3 days is also the average rotation period of a sunspot. Here is another unbelievable coincidence pi approximated to the ninth decimal place is exactly pi 3.1415923,654 3 by 1 by 4 by 1 by 5 by 9 by 2 by 6 by 5 by 4 129,600 129,600 by 2 25,920 by 10 which is 10x Earth's precession cycles 10x period of precession of the equinoxes the Earth is spinning on its axis in a counterclockwise direction and rotating around the Sun also in a counterclockwise direction, while the Earth's spinning axis wobbles like a gyroscope in a clockwise direction. As the result, as the twelve constellations appear to move clockwise along around the horizon during the course of its annual rotation around the Sun during a year, the constellations, from spring or fall equinox to equinox, appear to move counterclockwise at the rate of 72 years per degree, or one full wobble in 25,920 years also known as Great Year, of the Earth's axis. The galactic year is the duration of time required for the solar system to orbit once around the center of our galaxy the Milky Way. Estimated length of the galactic year is close to 1000 precession cycles of the Earth. Fibonacci sequence, phi and pi the golden ratio is an irrational mathematical constant, approximately 1.618033988745 phi 1.618033988749894 8488914 45865 6381177203091780576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576510576
5511SQRT521.61803-3988, which is an excellent approximation of phi. The following formula connects pi 3.14159 and phi 1.6180, 65x phi 2 pi r 125x phi 22 x pi SQRT PHI nearly equals 4 pi 1.272 versus 1.273. This formula is expressed by the numbers describing pyramids of Giza. Here is how proportions based a height ratio of the first pyramid 117 proportions based to height ratio of the second pyramid 32 proportions based to height ratio of the third pyramid 85 2410 x phi 22 x pi the same formula written with ratios of three pyramids 2 by 2 by 117 32 by 85 x phi 2 note the great pyramid is a golden pyramid length of the slope side 356 divided by half of the side 4402 220 height is equal to 1.618118, which is the golden ratio phi. The dimensions of the Earth and Moon are in phi relationship, forming a golden triangle. The summation series Fibonacci, the natural progression, follows a summation series that is known today as the Fibonacci series. Of course, this series was in existence before Fibonacci, born in 1179 CE. He simply rediscovered it. The summation series is a progressive series, where you start with the first two numbers, then you add their total to generate the next number, and so on. By definition, the first two Fibonacci numbers are 0 and 1, and each subsequent number is the sum of the previous two. The first summation, progression 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, 233, 377. It is worth to note that the first summation Fibonacci progression generates approximation of the golden ratio phi 32 1.5000 53 1.666 85 1.6000 138 1.6250 1.6100 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.6150 1.
overall three pyramids generate the base of the first pyramid if we use Royal Egyptian cubits 173214174403603 this rectangle shows also relationship of the Royal Egyptian cubit 20.62 inch to the sacred cubit 25.2 inch 17 million 321,417 25.220.62 another interesting coincidence encoded in the Royal cubit Royal Egyptian cubit 0 0.524 meters pi 3.14163.14 3.14 feet 0 0.957 meters 1.8263 rc 2x 0 0.957 0 0.5242 x 1.8263 3.6526 365.26 x 102 number of days in a year 365.25 another interpretation of the above circumference of AA circle with diameter equal 100 feet is 2x pi by 100 feet 2x pi x 1207,539.8 365.74rc a 356.25rc measured in King's Chamber proportions of pyramids at Giza height base 711 0 0.6363636363 23 0.6666666668 0.6266666668 58.0.62575 also 7 2 laws written in stone the pyramid of Kukulkan in Chichen Itza Chichen Itza pyramid calendar the pyramid of Kukulkan at Chichen Itza constructed circa 1050 was built during the late Mayan period when Toltecs from Chula became politically powerful the pyramid was used as a calendar for stairways, each with 91 steps and a platform at the top, making a total of 365, equivalent to the number of days in a calendar year. The ancient Mayan pyramid at Chichen Itza, Yucatan, Mexico. Copyright A. Sokolovsky Latitude of the Pyramid of Calcotal 20 degrees 40 58.44 and 20 by 40 by 58.44 46,752 This pyramid is a precise calendar it has 91 steps on each of four sides plus platform on top 4 times 9 1 1 3 6 5 The calendar connection is also confirmed by pyramids orientation marking equinoxes and solstices the pyramid has four sides with four staircases dividing each side into two sections in total eight sections. Using these numbers an accurate value for one year equal 365.25, the pyramid number will perfectly relate its latitude 365.25 x 4 by 4 by 8 46,752 note 46,752 365.25 x 128 perhaps there is a better fit for the 128 for monks number crunching related to the pyramid of Kokotal in Chichen Itza go to http www.world mysteries.com chichen underscore kukulkan.htm gate of the sun at tawana q the gate of the sun is a very sophisticated calendar called the muisca calendar the gateway of the sun from the tiwanku civilization in bolivia the muisca calendar is another important piece in the jigsaw of the lost knowledge of the andes if the origins of the muisca calendar were to be found at tawanaku then perhaps they were also built into the gate of the this calendar at tiwanku is not based upon a division of the solar year into 12 but into 20 and this is represented by the 11 smaller icons forming the fries at the bottom which represents the 11 pillars on the west side of the kalazas io which is the actual calendar so if you count from the central icon a pillar out to the right-hand end, then back past the central icon to the left-hand end, then back to the center, you will have effectively counted in 20 devices and followed the path of the sun over a year. This wonderful graphic by Ken Bakeman shows colored version of the sun god from the gate of the sun relief. Image source http www.kenbeekman.comarp.html So if the chaskas do not relate to the days in whichever number of days we choose for the months of the year, could it be that the chaskas represent the years themselves? If each chasqui were to represent a solar year, then each column of three chaskas would represent three revolutions of the sun around the 11-pillar calendar wall and three solar years are equivalent to one x mu isca across a year of 37 synodic months of 29.53 days and also equivalent to 2x mu Muiscas Ocam years of 20 sidereal months of 27.32 days. 
there are 15 chaskas on each side of the central figure and each block of 15 chaskas would represent 15 solar years which would be 5 mu iska across from years of 37 synodic months of 29.53 days or 10 mu iska zokam years of 20 sidereal months of 27.32 days the total number of chaskas is 30 chaskas representing 30 solar years which would be 10 mu iska across from years of 37 synodic months of 29.53 days or 20 mu iska zokam years of 20 sidereal months of 27.32 days the choice of 30 chaskas as 30 solar years is no random figure, because after 30 solar years have gone by, it becomes necessary to add one sidereal lunar month to the Muiska Zocam calendar making it 20 by 21,401 sidereal lunar months to bring it back into line with the solar year. At the same time of adding one sidereal month to the Zocam sidereal calendar, it also becomes necessary to add one synodic lunar month to the Muiska Acrotum calendar making it 10 by 37 one synodic lunar months to also bring it into line with both the sidereal lunar calendar and the actual solar year. Each of the sections with 15 chaskas corresponds to the period of 15 solar years which Duquesne tells us was one quarter of the great century of the Mu Iskas so to sum up, each block of 15 chaskas represents 15 solar years which is 10 Mu Iskas Ocam years or 5 Mu Iska across from years, the two blocks together make 30 chaskas representing 30 solar years which is 20 Mu Iskas Ocam years or 10 Mu Iska across from years and 2x the 30 chaskas gives 60 chaskas representing 60 solar years completing the great century of the Mu Iskas which was therefore, 40 muiscas ocam years or 20 muisca across some years. Above detail of the gate of the sun at Tawanaku, Bolivia, the 30 chaskas represent 30 solar years, equal to 20 zocam years of 20 sidereal lunar months or 10 across some years of 37 synodic lunar months. At the end of this period, 1x lunar month had to be added to the lunar calendars to bring them back into phase with the solar year. Above the gate of the sun at Tawanaku, Bolivia, the 30 chaskas represent 30 solar years, equal to 20 zocam years of 20 sidereal lunar months or 10 across from years of 37 synodic lunar months. At the end of this period, 1x lunar month had to be added to the lunar calendars to bring them back into phase with the solar year. Beneath the chaskas can be seen the fries with 11 smaller chasqui heads representing the 11 pillars on the calendar wall which in turn divide the solar year into 20 months of 18 days, and the 40 condor heads represent the 40 sidereal months which mesh with the solar calendar every three years. Above when the sun reached the end of the pillars, it appeared to stand still before beginning its journey back in the opposite direction. The Great Pyramid of Giza John Taylor, in his 1859 book The Great Pyramid Why Was It Built Who Built It, claimed that the Great Pyramid was planned in the building supervised by the biblical Noah, and that it was built to make a record of the measure of the earth. Now let's look at the coordinates of the Great Pyramid 29 degrees 58 45.03 n 31 degrees 0803 69e let's multiply latitude numbers 29 by 58 by 45.03 now this pyramid has four sides its perfect slope angle is 51.8428 degrees and there are 365.2425 days in a year 4 by 51.8428 by 365 5.2425 Note another very strange coincidence was discovered by John Charles Webb Jr. Precise latitude of the center of the Grand Gallery inside GP is 29 degrees 58 45.28 N 29.979245 degrees north The speed of light in vacuum, usually denoted by C, is a universal physical constant important in many areas of physics. Its value is 299,792,458 meters s. This single, fundamental design principle 11 7 base to height ratio generates all amazing mathematical properties of the Great Pyramid the Golden Ratio Phi 1.618 The Great Pyramid is a golden pyramid length of the slope side 356 divided by half of the side 4402220 height is equal to 1.618118 which is the golden ratio Phi squaring the circle ratio 1.571 base height 4428 1.571 pi 3.141592 x base height 2 by 4428 3.1428 6 which is very close approximation of pi 3.14159
perimeter of the square base 4 times 4,401,760 is the same as circumference of the circle with radius height 2 x pi x height 2 by 227 by 2,801,760 the ratio of the perimeter to height of 1,760,280 cubits equates to 2 x pi 2 an accuracy of better than 0.05% side of the base 440 plus double height 2 by 280,561,000 perimeter of the square base is equal 4 times 4,401,760 rc 0.5 nautical mile 17,200 of the radius length of the earth the slope angle 51 degrees 0.843 the pyramid exhibits in the design both pi and bi phi given the similarity of 2 sqrt phi 2 divided by the square root of phi with pi 2 1 1 7 equal 1.57142 sqrt 8955 equal 1.57 222 sqrt phi equal 1.5723 pi 2 equal 1.5708 royal cubit 0.5236 meters pi phi 2 0.5231111213141 for pendulum with length l1 my 0.83 meters the pendulum period t1.827 seconds 6000 661.827364.5 Another intriguing properties of numbers 1 Royal Egyptian Cubit REC 20.620.52375 meters Pyramid complex at Teotihuacan reveals measuring units of length suggested by Hugh Halston Hanabstu 1.059463 meters Another possible unit was suggested by Sugiyama 1 TMU 32.80.833 meters 1.591 Rec 1 REC 1 TMU 0 0.62875 which is approximately 2 pi 10 1 stu 1 hunab 3.475745481.711.0594 meters 2.0228 rec 1 rec 1 stu 0.259 note circumference of circle with r1 tmu 1 o rec circumference of circle with r1 hunab using sumerian pi 23.146263 1.059436.5 61.1111 perfect Earth's circumference in kilometer 40. 0003601111111111 sqrt 0.55555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555555
26 row 3 8412 row 4 16824 row 5 321648 row 6 643296 row 7 12 864192 row 8 256 128384 next add 4 to each number and you will get 4 7 1 0 1 6 2 8 5 2 100 1 9 6 3 8 8 then divide it by 10 0 0.4 0 0.7 1.0 .0, 1 1.6 2 .8, 5 2 10 point zero nineteen point six thirty eight point eight. the resulting sequence is very close to the distribution of mean distances of the planets from the Sun expressed in astronomical units O body actual distance AU Bode's law Mercury 0 0.390.4 Venus 0 0.720.7 Earth 1.001.0 Mars 1.521.6 1 Asteroid Belt 2.772.8 Jupiter 5.205.2 Saturn 9.5410.0 Uranus 19.1919.6 Neptune 30.06 Na Pluto 39.4438.8 one astronomical unit is approximately the mean Earth Sun distance equal 0 0.149.597106 km all planets and asteroid belt. Fit Titus Bode law except for Neptune. Here is another way to connect Bode's law with Pascal's triangle source http milan.milanovic.org math english tishus.html planet k Pascal triangle bing Mercury 110 Venus 2111 Earth 31212 Mars 413314 Planet V5146418 Jupiter 6151010511616 Saturn 7161520156132 Uranus 8 1 7 2 1 3 5 3 5 2 1 7 1 6 4 Neptune 9 bin 7 bin 8 96 Pluto 9 1 8 2 8 5 6 7 0 oh 5 6 2 8 8 1 1 2 8 The modern formulation of the Titus Bode law is that the mean distance A of the planet from the Sun in astronomical units O 149.597106 km is a 0 0.40.3 xk where k 0 1 2 4 8 16 30 32, 64,128 sequence of powers of 2, from Pascal's triangle PS2 spiral Solaris. For these reasons and from such constituents, four in number, the body of the universe was brought into being, coming into concord by means of proportion, and from these it acquired amity, so that coming into unity with itself it became indissoluble by any other save him who bound it together. Timaeus, 31 BE 32 C, Plato's Cosmology The Timaeus of Plato, Trans. Francis MacDonald Cornford, Bob's Merrill, Indianapolis, 197,544, Emphases supplied the threefold number is present in all things whatsoever nor did we ourselves discover this number, but rather nature teaches it to us, quotation from Ovid provided by Nicole Osmer in his major work, Le Livre du CLA du Monde. Commentaries of Proclus on the time voice of Plato The figure of the spiral likewise is no vain, fortuitous things, but gives completion to the media between bodies that move in right lines, and those that are moved in a circle. For the circle alone, as we have said, is in the inerratic sphere, but the right line in generation. And the spiral is in the planetary region, as having a commixture of the periphery and the right line. The motions also according to breadth and according to depth, viz, of the upward and downward, and the oblique motions. Perhaps likewise, the theogist Julian in celebrating time as a spiral form, as both young and old, directed his attention to this, conceiving that the temporal periods, were especially to be known through the motions of the planets. Trans. Thomas Taylor, Volume 2, Book IV, p.239 With these things however, not only Plato as we have observed, but theogists likewise accord. For they celebrate time as a mundane god, eternal, boundless, a young and old, and of a spiral form. And besides this also, as having its essence in eternity, as abiding always the same, and as possessing infinite power. For how could it otherwise comprehend the infinity of apparent time, and circularly lead all things to their former condition, and renovate them, and also recall things which become old through it, to their proper measure, as being at once comprehensive both of things that are moved in a circle, and according to a right line. For a spiral is a thing of this kind and hence, as I have before observed, time is celebrated by theogists as having a spiral form, trans. 
Thomas Taylor, Volume 2, Book IV, pp.2078 Emphasis supplied without going into the finer details we may nevertheless take an initial cue from the information provided by Archimedes that the area bounded by the spiral in the first revolution is a sixth part of that added in the second revolution. Simply stated, if the first area is 1 i.e., unity then the second area will be 6, the third 12, the fourth 18, and so on, for according to Archimedes generally the areas added in the later revolutions will be multiples of that added in the second revolution according to the successive numbers, thus the areas expand by successive multiples of 6. But what does this have to do with the equiangular period spiral as derived in the previous section which concerns time and successive heliocentric revolutions since the revolutions in the latter also proceed according to a fixed increment, i.e., by the fundamental period constant associated with the equiangular square and the construction of the spiral itself, phi 2 we can also obtain successive areas from the corresponding periods as radii from the Pfizer's planetary framework. And as it so happens, the areas pertaining to the planetary positions also expand in a uniform manner, not by 6 as given by Archimedes, but by a constant factor of 6.85410196654 instead, and thus the 6th of Maya may not be considered a simplified approximation for the latter. But however one looks at it, the number 6 is undoubtedly of importance in Pythagorean contexts while a similar weight appears to have been placed, either directly or indirectly, on the numbers 6, 12 and 18 by Plato in the Eponymus, in the Timaeus, and elsewhere. And here we might also recall that with respect to the equiangular period spiral with notable exceptions that the heliocentric distances occur at the 60 and 300 degree points, thus a six-fold division is also a feature of the basic configuration. So what indeed is Archimedes referring to here one can hardly be certain at this stage, but from what we have seen so far, one might begin to suspect that these seemingly simple operations are neither numerology nor primitive mathematics, but something quite different. It may well be that it is not common practice to treat time in radial form per se, but then again, we are not used to working with such an all-encompassing, complex entity as this particular equiangular spiral either. But if we are not dealing with numerology and elementary mathematics in this context, then what are dealing with it may be too early to be definitive, but it is beginning to look more and more like highly condensed, competent methodology clothed in disarmingly simple terms. Source http wwwspirisolariscab 4 dhtml The three basic figures that fill a space returning to Osme's diagram, by coincidence a chance, perhaps, but assuredly not by manipulation, even the direction of the circumscribed spiral matches our own. Moreover, if we recall that our final product, the equiangular period spiral, is a just that, i.e., equiangular, be that this spiral includes all three mean parameters, periods, distances and velocities, and significant significantly see, that the latter trio are delimited by three basic equiangular figures, the triangle, the square more correctly the rectangle and the hexagon. We are then able to examine Osme's closing religious summations in Ducial from a more tightly focused viewpoint. Besides the varieties of trinity noted there, there is another which is pertinent to our present discussion, because, in accord with what we said in Chapter 12 of Book 2 Cfol, 176b, there are three regular plane figures, the triangle, the square, and the hexagon each of which we can imagine to be capable of filling so completely a flat area or surface that it is absolutely impossible that there could be more space to be filled. Likewise there are three divine persons, each of whom fills all space. Isaiah the prophet spoke of them. Thus holy, 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 Lord God, etc. All the earth is full of thy glory. And there is one God, who spoke through his prophet Jeremiah, I will fill the heaven and earth, and of who Virgil said all things are replete with Jove. Do seal, Book IV, Chapter 10, Falls. 200 d 201 b p.723 the double formed spiral k54 and the whirlpool galaxy m51 color 200 kilobit edge and whirlpool galaxy m51 image by the hubble heritage team nasa strauer using data collected by principal astronomer and scoville caltech and collaborators to govern all things the threefold number in view of what follows next it seems necessary to remind the reader that the for-based exponential planetary frameworks, IV stemmed entirely from the rejection of Bode's law and the resulting need to develop a more workable approach to the structure of the solar system. Simply stated, a mathematical problem concerning mean planetary periods resulted in the final determination of a constant of linearity k from the quadratic equation k2 k10. 
Thus the required constant for the periods planetary and synodic turned out to be the golden ratio phi 1.618033988794949. Moreover, as a consequence of the applied methodology the final exponential planetary framework was in turn, necessarily predicated on the larger though intimately related constant phi 2 2.618033988794949. This determination was in fact the direct result of dealing with time before distance and latter in turn before velocity, although as we have seen, all three parameters were later combined in the final planetary frameworks in any event. On completion of the latter, however, it became apparent from various philosophical writings and cues that the initial emphasis on time, i.e., periods of revolution, was to a certain extent at least already present in ancient works see below. Consequently, and also as treated in the previous sections, what follows next is a natural pursuit of the various related threads that have been passed down to us thus basically a search for similarity, and hopefully further enlightenment. This said, however, the degree of understanding attained in earlier times is difficult to assess for many reasons but if Spiris Solaris and its integral parameters are in any way underlying features in certain philosophical writings, then it should be possible to focus on the subject matter with specific numerical values and mathematical concepts concepts already in place. Thus although Plato's emphasis in both the eponymous and the timeus suggests that there is little likelihood of detailed understanding without lengthy and specific instructions so much, then, for our program as a whole. But to crown it all, we must go on to the generation of things divine, the fairest and most heavenly spectacle God has vouchsafed to the eye of man. And believe me, no man will ever behold that spectacle without the studies we have described, and so be able to boast that he has won it by an easy route. Moreover, in all our sessions for study we are to relate the single fact to its species there are questions to be asked and erroneous theses to be refuted. We may truly say that this is ever the prime test, and the best a man can have is for tests that profess to be such but are not, there is no labor so fruitlessly thrown away as that spent on them. We must also grasp the accuracy of the periodic times and the precision with which they complete the various celestial motions, and this is where a believer in our doctrine that soul is both older and more divine than body will appreciate the beauty and justice of the saying that all things are full of gods and that we have never been left unheeded by the forgetfulness or carelessness of the higher powers. There is one observation to be made about all such matters. If a man grasps the several questions aright, the benefit accruing to him who thus learns his lesson in the proper way is great indeed if he cannot, twill ever be the better course to call on God. Now the proper way is this so much explanation is unavoidable. To the man who pursues his studies in the proper way, all geometric constructions, all systems of numbers, all duly constituted melodic progressions, the single ordered scheme of all celestial revolutions, should disclose themselves, and disclose themselves they will, if, as I say, a man pursues his studies aright with his mind's eye fixed on their single end. As such a man reflects, he will receive the revelation of a single bond of natural interconnection between all these problems. If such matters are handled in any other spirit, a man, as I am saying, will need to invoke his luck. We may rest assured that without these qualifications the happy will not make their appearance in any society. This is the method, this the pabulum, these the studies demanded hard or easy, this is the road we must tread. Eponymous, 989d992a, trans. A. E. Taylor, The Collected Dialogues of Plato, Princeton University Press, Princeton, 1,982,153,031 emphases supplied, for these reasons and from such constituents, four in number, the body of the universe was brought into being, coming into concord by means of proportion, and from these it acquired amity, so that coming into unity with itself it became indissoluble by any other save him who bound it together. Timaeus, 31b 32c, Plato's Cosmology The Timaeus of Plato, Trans. Francis MacDonald Cornford, Bob's Merrill, Indianapolis, 197,544, emphases supplied it is conceivable that the parameters and structure of spiral solaris might provide not only the necessary element of luck, but also some degree of understanding concerning the binding. Certainly there are enough parameters and associated concepts available both past and present as already touched upon in the last two sections. However, it would still be optimistic to expect that either the application of the precise details would be immediately apparent. In fact after the manner of Orpheus, Pythagoras and Plato, it might well be that certain related matters were indeed promulgated mystically and symbolically by the first by the second, enigmatically and through images and scientifically by the third. 
or, as Thomas Taylor put it conformably to the custom of the most ancient philosophers, information was delivered synoptically, and in such a way as to be inaccessible to the vulgar. For example, although not especially mystical or symbolic, consider the following poetic dissemination in medieval scholar Nicole Osme's reference to Aristotle and the threefold number according to over three said Aristotle, prince of philosophers and never-failing friend of truth all things are three the threefold number is present in all things whatsoever. Nor did we ourselves discover this number, but rather nature's teaches it to us. Here, historical preconceptions notwithstanding, it can undoubtedly be suggested that of all numbers the golden ratio is uniquely qualified to receive such an appellation, though it is not the only related choice in this regard. Equally applicable might be the reciprocal of the underlying constant of Spira Solaris, i.e., phi 20.3819660111, which as will be seen in later sections, may be understood to represent many things, including the fifth element or other Venus philosophical to some alchemists in the same alchemical understanding Sir Isaac Newton's aptly named quintessence and also a key parameter associated with philotaxis to return us to Ovid and the link with nature. Then again, there is the more precise wording in the Chaldean oracles, where Ovid's all things are three, is expanded to include intellection for the mind of the father said, that all things can be cut into three, governing all things by mind, this occurs in a larger passage that is also readily understandable in the present context with its thinly disguised references to the golden ratio and not least of all, fountain of fountains, and of all fountains, the matrix containing all things the monad is enlarged, which generates two for the dyad sits by him, and glitters with intellectual sections, and to govern all things, and to order all things not ordered. For in the whole world shineth the triad, over which the monad rules. This order is the beginning of all section, for the mind of the father said, that all things can be cut into three, governing all things by mind. The center from which all lines which way soever are equal, for the paternal mind sowed symbols through the world. Fountain of fountains, and of all fountains the matrix containing all things. The content of the above passage from the Chaldean oracles may surprise some readers, but nevertheless the historical side of the matter is not that difficult, although it is clearly out of kilter. The Fibonacci series and thereafter the golden ratio have long been associated with natural growth from Fibonacci onwards for the moderns, through Kepler, and later via the efforts of a veritable host of investigators, as R. C. Archibald's lengthy bibliography 5 in J. Hambridge's Dynamics Symmetry 1920,146,156-6 clearly attests. Though 2R is human, noticeably absent from the latter list are the contributions of Samuel Coleman Nature's Harmonic Unity, 19,117 and those of Louis Agassi 8 essay on classification, 1857 but more on these emissions later. In passing, though, it is relevant to point out that the claim that the Fibonacci series was only discovered in the early part of the second millennium is surely invalid a doubly ignorant assertion in Thomas Taylor's understanding of the term that in any case was largely demolished by Darcy Wentworth Thompson years ago as follows the Greeks were familiar with a series 2, 3, 5, 7, 12, 17, etc., which converges to 212 as the other i.e., the Fibonacci series does to the golden mean and so closely related are the two series, that it seems impossible possible that the Greeks could have known the one and remained ignorant of the other. Sir Darcy Wentworth Thompson, on growth and form, Dover, New York, 1,992,923, unabridged reprint of the 1942 edition. The latter also pointed out, however, that we must not suppose the Fibonacci numbers to have any exclusive relation to the golden mean for arithmetic teaches us that, beginning with any two numbers whatsoever, we are led by successive summations toward one out of innumerable series of numbers whose ratios one to another converge to the golden mean. Sir Darcy Wentworth Thompson. Thompson, on growth and form, Dover, New York, 1,992,933 on a bridge reprint of the 1942 edition, this is true enough but it also adds weight to his previous observation. For example, consider the following Pythagorean reference a mnemonic device, if one prefers concerning the number 36 as explained by W. Wynne Westcott Plutarch, do I side aosi ride, calls the tetrictes the power of the number 36, and on this was the greatest oath of the Pythagoreans sworn. And it was denominated the world, in consequence of its being composed of the first four even and the first four odd numbers for one and three and five and seven or sixteen add two and four and six and eight, and obtain 36. W. Wynne Westcott, Numbers Their Occult Power and Mystic Virtues, Sun Publishing Santa Fe, 1,983,114.
me and numerology elementary mathematics perhaps both but also perhaps neither and an expansion in dimensional thinking that may or may not have historical precedence either way by adding the first four even and first four odd numbers to obtain 36 the stated intermediate values are also readily aligned for further use here I will leave it to the reader to observe that so aligned the numbers added vertically result in the Fibonacci and the Lucas series with phi also the limiting ratio in the other three columns. All of which reinforces Sir Darcy Wentworth Thompson's point about the many routes and detours that lead to the golden ratio while all also rendering historical claims concerning Fibonacci's preeminent discovery of the series even less tenable than they already are. And here, one might note, we have not even factored in the main issue under consideration, which is the numerous pointers, guides and indicators leading to the ever-present golden ratio in nature itself. Read the entire article here http wwwspirisolariscab 4 d 2 bhtml Subject-related links more to come. Please send your comments.